The goal of this video is to explain how inguinal hernias occur. Let's look at the anatomy of the inguinal canals. This is an anatomical depiction of an inguinal canal in a male. We really should need to think of inguinal hernias as cylinders. So here I've shown you a hernia on the right side and left side. On the left side, we can see that the cylinder is very small, and that's a normal anatomy of the inguinal canal. So if the cylinder is very small, nothing will really come through it. However, as the openings of that cylinder start becoming larger, and that usually translates into becoming weaker, then there is a possibility the bowel can sneak through. As you can see here, the bowel has actually snuck through on the right side through the bigger cylinder and came across the inguinal canal into the scrotum. Let's look at the parts of the inguinal canal one more time. Here we can see the internal ring, which is the inner part of the cylinder itself, and that is what is in direct contact with the bowel and the intra-abdominal organs. And then we actually have the length of the canal itself, which is called the inguinal canal. So the opening leads into the canal, or this tunnel essentially, that is sitting between layers of muscle and other abdominal wall tissue. And then finally, this cylinder has an exit, and that is known as the external ring. And this essentially leads directly to the outside. And so the bulge will be showing at this point. Well, let me show you what I see in the operating room. This is a left inguinal hernia, and we can see here that the yellow arrow is pointing to the internal ring, and that's the opening. The dark inside of it is the actual uh, canal, the inguinal canal itself, and then the red arrow is pointing to a large piece of small intestine that was inside of that inguinal canal and had to be manually pushed back into the abdominal cavity. So how did that small intestine make its way from the inside of the abdomen to the outside? Well, it had to go through the internal ring, as is shown here, and then it went through the inguinal canal, through the tunnel itself of that cylinder that we showed you earlier, and then finally it made its way out through the external ring into the scrotum, causing the bulge in this paper. This kind of a hernia is called an indirect hernia because the bowel had to go through the entire length of the cylinder, through its internal ring, through the actual cylinder, and finally out through the external ring. There is another type of hernia. As you can see here, if there is weakness of the muscles and the layer that are sitting deep to the external ring, then the bowel could essentially take a much direct route. Therefore, it's called a direct hernia. So we can see here that the bowel can simply push through straight this weakened muscle and directly through the external ring and into the scrotum. Again, leading essentially to the same sign externally, which is a bulge at the inguinal area or the groin.